Hey guys, welcome to part 4 of the Razor C tutorials and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to add pages and make widgets. So, load up your website and log in. Now, to log in, you go to RC admin default.cshtml and if you do it this way, then it will not show an error page. Now go to show all pages. Now the first thing that we want to do is delete the demo pages and then edit the default page. Now just edit the content and just insert some new content. And we don't need the title and you might want a title this title is going to show here so you can just put home page and update now for the widgets click here and we don't want the donate one so remove that we want the top slogan we want the sponsor and side demo we want to make that but we want to move it to the left so side demo order ID is 10 and insert okay now this is a gonna be a template and the next pages that we make will run off this default page so let's make a new page and let's name it about and base it off our default page insert and then insert some content Okay, and change the title. Then make another page and downloads and paste it off the default page and insert and then just put some content. Change the title. Update and then make another page ok and then give it a title and update ok next go to simple menu and delete the demo skin 2 and 3 then add the other pages so it's about and the pages about page order is 9 and then same for the downloads and order is 8 and then contact and order is 7 and then let's view the website okay and there's our website now we have the contact us here we have the home page about page downloads and contact page okay next we want to edit the widgets now go to show widgets and sponsor now just delete this and put your own text update show widgets and do the same for site demo and just put some links and update then show widgets and top slogan and then click update and then refresh and you can see that the pages have been made and the widgets have changed now the widgets have changed on all of the pages since it was a we 
added the widgets and other pages so it will change for all the pages now next the top slogan hasn't changed so go back to show widgets top slogan and it's not that it's this they want to edit update then when we refresh it's changed now all this is just based on CSS so if you wanted like a drop shadow on this uh, logo uh, you could actually inc include one by adding a text shadow effect in the style sheet and that's H1 I think yep okay next we're gonna make a new page and name it HTML and base it off the default page and click insert then go to show pages go to HTML well, no let's just view the website okay now go to show widgets and go to site demo edit it and highlight HTML and give it a link and it's we want to link it to the HTML page so put two dots forward slash then HTML insert update refresh and click okay what we need to do is just click on the HTML page and edit the content and update now I want to show you something if I go back to home now I'll click on HTML okay now this is a HTML page and we have the same site demo that we have on all the other pages now if you were to make a tutorial website and when someone clicks HTML it's very likely that you would want the HTML uh, content to be here like paragraphs fonts now if I change this widget it will apply to every other page because this widget is applied to all the other pages now to sort that out what we do is in the HTML page we remove that widget which is a site demo and then we make a new widget and then just name it HTML template HTML just insert and then we can insert content now when I click update I go go back to show pages in the HTML page I want to add add sorry the new widget to the left and say HTML one and order ID give it 10 and insert now when I refresh the HTML page you can see that it's changed and that's very useful for like nested templates because that's what it is and then when you make a new page like for example the paragraphs page you just make a new page and base it off the HTML page so it's very easy to make pages and widgets so I hope this helped rate comment and subscribe